Hi there, I'm Andrew Brown. Welcome to Real Time Music and Sound with Pure Data. In this episode, we're going to be looking at audio file playback. We're going to look at two different um, techniques for doing this. The first one, we're going to use an object called read sf tilde, so for reading a sound file. This object can take a message, um, open, and then the name of the file. I have a WAV file called drum theme. You notice that the read sf has uh, one inlet, that's where that goes. At the moment it's got two outlets. Um, an audio outlet and the rightmost outlet sends a bang when sound uh, has finished. I know my drum theme sound is in stereo, so I'm going to specify two channels and you'll notice we get um, an extra outlet now. So in order to control the volume, uh, we can grab a multiply object, multiply tilde object, or one for each of the channels to keep the stereo imaging and then that can go out to our DAC digital to analog converter and we can specify a volume using a number box I'll control the level of both channels like so um, so that will read the file but uh, in order to play the file we can uh, use a toggle into there and that will play and stop um, the file as we play it like so. Uh, you notice when I clicked the toggle just to show you that that worked but we hadn't yet opened the drum we got uh, an error saying uh, we didn't uh, actually open a file so let's do that first. Click on open, um, turn up the volume and then play. Okay, stop. You'll notice now that if we uh, replay, it says again we haven't opened. Uh, with ReadSF, it's necessary to always open um, and then play. Uh, so that's not super convenient, but generally ReadSF um, is the simplest way of playing an audio file. Uh, let's have a look um, at another method. There is another method where instead of using um, read sf, we're going to use um, an object called soundfiler. Soundfiler will um, read the audio files into um, an array. So I need to create these arrays. Um, the first one, audio data one. I'm not going to worry about the size for the minute because uh, we're going to be able to resize it. You'll see why in a second. So there's an audio data. Uh, we know that this is a uh, stereo file, so we actually need to put two arrays. So a second array we can call audio data 2. And it will hold the um, second channel's audio. So again, we can connect the same uh, message to the sound filer. Uh, actually, no, my mistake. A different message we need to read for this one. Um, and because our arrays are not quite of the size of our audio file and we don't ex exactly know what size that is right now, we can tell it to resize. Um, then the next argument is the name of the audio file. Then we need to tell it the names of the arrays, audio data 1 and audio data 2. Okay, so that's all a bit complicated. Let's move that over there. It's quite a long message. All right, so that can go into our sound filer. Um, so let's give that a go. Click on there, reads the audio, puts it into our two arrays. Alright, so now it's time for us to play back. 
we're going to use an object called tab play tilde um, and it needs the name of the array or the table that it's going to play in this case audio data one so this will play back the left channel um, the tab play can be triggered um, with um, a bang to do that the audio will come out that outlet we'll pass that in on the left channel uh, let's just see if we can hear just that one channel all right so that worked fine so now we can duplicate that for the other channel read the audio data too can pass the bang to there as well make that go into here and then play in stereo other commands we can send to tab play um, include a message to stop the audio playback using a stop message um, so that's been connected to both tab plays Oh, come on here we go so when we bang to start we can then click on the stop message and that will stop it it's also possible to send a message um, to play a certain section of the sound file so we might want for example to start playing um, 1000 samples in um, and to play for 40,000 samples we can connect that to Again to both tab plays and click that and we just get a short section of the uh, audio file playing and we can change those numbers so you can see this is a little bit more um, we have a bit more control in this particular methodology using the um, arrays than we did uh, just with the read sf player so that's how you can um, play a sound file back in PD